I get a lot of people saying I'm slightly weird for doing what I do. It's nice to get out and have my own little space. I bring my iPad with me and I make my car into like a little bit of a makeshift office. Stitch isn't just a regular vehicle. He's my home away from home, my office and an art studio all in one. Now you may ask, Ellie, why don't you just get a proper office like a normal person? Well, I have many, many times, but I've also worked in a small Fiesta and then a van. And as I do enjoy being out and about on adventures quite a lot anyway, why not make use of the space I have and do both at the same time? Since I started my business just over two years ago, I have completed four books out of this car and now I'm on to a massive other project which I will be able to tell you guys about at a later date. Now in three years of doing YouTube, I've realised I've never actually gone into me working from the car and I get questions about it all the time. Stitch is having some personal issues right now and considering that I am still waiting for the garage to sort these things out, I've had to stay quite local in Devon and Cornwall for the last couple of weeks whilst I work. I thought, why not just do a day in the life with me and show you guys what I mean when I say that I run my business from my car. Even before I was living out this car, I was still sat here every single day. <laughs> For those who don't know, I'm a self-employed artist and illustrator and right now I'm working from somewhere very, very glamorous. <laughs> Trago Mills car park. So I tend to work in like different types of places. If I'm staying in my car for like a long period of time, like living out of it, then obviously I'll just book a campsite. If I'm like in a hotel or renting a place for a bit, then obviously I'll work from there. Or I just drive around for a bit, try and find a beautiful spot like a beach. I do get some stairs. <laughs> yes, I do get a bad back. Yes, I do get a sore ass. But you know what? It's worked for me for like over two years now. Yeah, I can actually put my legs flat. It's so intense. And I, I'm talking, I'm working like what? It could be anything from 12 to 18 hours a day, not getting much sleep. Like tonight, I'm gonna to have to pull an all-nighter again. It's not gonna be this intense forever. When I'm done with this project, I've actually got quite a few plans. And between you and me, I'm saving the pennies because um, we're heading to another country. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me, I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm really tired and I'm stressed. And I do have some mini meltdowns in the back of this car. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> just pulled over on the side of the A30 because there's a cricket in the back and I've been driving for about half an hour and literally <laughs> it's just going in the background. I don't like bugs, okay? I really don't like bugs. Where the hell is it? Show yourself. <laughs> I am not sleeping in here tonight with a cricket in here. It's not gonna happen. Can't see anything and I can't hear anything but there is like a road right there. Did you go out the door? If I start driving and that Jiminy Cricket back there starts again. You know what really freaks me out? It's like if I'm driving and it's just bloody great cricket just lands on my face. I can hear him again. It sounds like there's multiple in here. It's nearly midnight and I don't even care anymore. I've just realized that I'm gonna be up all night anyway, so I'm just gonna grab a really strong coffee and let him and his little buddies back there have a party. I've just realized that I can't go through the drive-through because my window is just not working. <laughs> We're crossing from Cornwall back into Devon. Who wants to bet that my window's gonna break at the toll booth again? <laughs> How have I lasted this long? This car needs like some serious work done. So we're near the edge of Dartmoor at the moment and it's an area that I know really well because my dad actually lives there. So I'm gonna use the space that I've parked in before which was actually really safe last time. light oh <laughs> i say this is an all-nighter as well watch me fall asleep watch me fall asleep dribbling on my i'm joking i don't dribble so for anyone who's asked me where i've been uh the last couple of weeks 
<laughs> what this whole video is about. The last time you saw me, I was in Wiltshire. I was like in a campsite. I stayed there for a few nights. Then I did like stealth for one night. Then I started to have problems with the car with the ABS sensor and also these really, really like weird noises coming from underneath the car. So I don't know if it's my suspension. So at that point, I just came back to my home city. I've been doing a mixture of camping outside my mum's house. I've rented a couple of campsites nearby and I am waiting for the garage to check the car at the moment. So I thought, why not just like take you guys on a night with me and just show you how I do this. And tonight is gonna be an all nighter. I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> to stay away. The fact that I've been able to find ways of utilizing the space I've had in each vehicle I've had to work from as well as like take adventures in them and, and you know, camp in them. It's been like a godsend really will i upgrade and you know i mean i'm probably you know i mean this is just like a, a huge chapter of my life i don't know if i do well in an office environment now like with multiple people since i left my like office job yeah i don't know i mean i'm not that great with being managed so i i don't think that i do very well in that environment now anyway i'm gonna get on with this and i'll let you know if i make it through the night night guys and i'll see you in the morning wish me luck <laughs> Yeah, I did fall asleep for like a couple of hours. <laughs> oh, car, I'm in my pajamas. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and wake myself up. And then we're gonna, and then we're gonna head somewhere. Oh, it's not even 6 a.m. Oh my God, I cannot believe how early it is. Oh, glamorous, just can't. This is for the guy that commented on my video recently telling me that I'm a terrible person because I'm apparently glamorizing car life. Dude, I still haven't fixed the back light I broke in February and I literally look like a hermit that's just crawled out of a pit. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm definitely turning around here. Even so, we all come from a very, very diverse race. <laughs> Yeah, yep, yeah, I know. If anyone in the comments knows of what that noise might be, that'd be really helpful. <laughs> we all come from loads of diverse different backgrounds and we've all got our own story. So comments like that, how do you know someone's story? I've just pulled over for a bit to uh, have my morning coffee, wake up a bit. Look at the time. Great. Change of plans for a bit, guys, because I need a parking space for I don't actually know how long. <laughs> Basically, this is definitely getting a lot worse. Um, it doesn't feel that great underneath either. <laughs> My plan this morning was actually to work from Hope Cove, which is stunning. I'm not trusting this car right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pitch up here for a bit, get loads of work done, and then see if this car is drivable or if it's just something that I'm overthinking. I definitely don't think I'm overthinking it though. I mean, to be honest, at least you guys get to see what like actually goes on. I know. Okay, so now I have to get on with the other part of my job, which is writing a book. <laughs> Ils sont ici. Ils sont ici. Ils. 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 Les garçons. Les garçons. The boys. The boys. Elles sont ici. Elles sont ici. Elles sont en France. Jérôme, la langue française. But I might as well get a head start. Where am I going to put all this stuff? I think I might have broke something. And I'm not talking about my back. <laughs> I'm spending the night camped outside mum's tonight because free food. <laughs> so what do you reckon, Stitch? Should we go to France? One thing's for sure, I am definitely not going in the summer holidays. Maybe late September, October time. And plus it gives me a chance to really sort everything out with work and also plan some other little trips to bring you guys along on. We are absolutely going to the best place on earth. So I am gonna go into Paris as well, even though I'm not too sure if I'm gonna drive that one yet because I'm actually terrified. This is your warning, France. Clear the roads. Oh, I've never driven on the other side of the road before. Just 
watch out. <laughs> I definitely think we should make a list of all the places on a particular route in France that I wanna see, but how are we gonna get there? I think the Euro Tunnel because we used to go on that every year when I was a kid <laughs> and it's just like really nostalgic. I'm using a rough date to get an idea of cost. Okay, Le Chateau is taking Le Pis. Let's try another day. <laughs> Jesus, I'm gonna have to take a mortgage just to travel to France. So my plan is actually to stay in campsites because I don't really fancy stealthing it on the main roads of France. If I find something really cool like a forest or like a national park or something, obviously I'm gonna stay there. Look at me becoming all professional vlogger. I really hope you've enjoyed this, um, this like little day with me, seeing what I do on the road and how I work. A lot of it is, yeah, me just sat on my butt, like just staring at a laptop or an iPad but I like it. But yeah, Stitch is booked in the garage for a few days time, so I'm probably gonna lose him for like a good couple of days, I'd imagine. But I'll be back with another vlog soon. I am so, so excited that I'm beginning to plan other, other adventures now. And when Stitch is properly fixed up, it means I can travel so much further as well. Obviously, like I don't do a lot of videos on my artwork or, or like what I do for a living because it's not really what this channel's about. But if you do wanna see like any of the projects I've done, anything like that, then let me know and I'll pop little bits of it as time goes on into the vlogs. This isn't my full-time job. It would be amazing if it was eventually. <laughs> I hope every single one of you are doing so well. I've said this before, but I'm just so thankful that you're all here. But yeah, <laughs> love you guys. And <laughs> I'm so weird. I'm 32 and I'm sat with a toy of Stitch in my car with the rain hammering down. And I'm actually really happy with that. <laughs> Bye.